What's up YouTube, Say there. Today I'll be showing you a video tutorial as how to downgrade your 6.1.3 version to 6.1.2 or even 5.1.1 according to the SH, SH blobs that you have saved. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So for this you have to get, you you have to have three files here that I'll be listing in the description. The first file is tiny umbrella to to save uh, to save the SH SH blobs. The second one is the red snow uh, which is which is the latest version, and the third one the firmware that you want to downgrade. And if you want to just uh, you, if you are on your 6.1.3 and you don't have your SH SH blobs, you go into your tiny umbrella, and I'll be providing the things here. As uh, you have to click on this connected device and make sure that uh, request SHSF blobs uh, from Syria is ticked. And after doing this, you have to just uh, click on the save SHSF uh, uh, option here. And as you as you'll be seeing here, my blobs will be SHSF will be uh, saved. As you can see, so these are the firmwares that I can downgrade, and uh, as you can see, it's 5.1.1 and even also 4.1, 4.3.5 and 6.1.2 so after your blobs has been saved as you can see these are the downgrades firmware that I, I can downgrade and uh, after doing this what you need to do is you have to open your red snow and uh, right, just right click on your red snow and click on red as administrator then click on yes and then when your red snow has been launched as you can see uh, whether if you want to find out whether your device is a new boot rom or an old boot rom it will be indicated here as mine is new boot rom so you have to go into your extra and go into even more and go into restore and click on IPSW uh, here is the main thing guys uh, I have tried 6.1.2 but uh, I couldn't downgrade it to 6.1.2 uh, and I have tried 5.1.1 and uh, I have successfully downgraded my firmware version to 5.1.1 so I select the version that I want to downgrade in my opinion my view you can downgrade you have to you it will be much easier for you to downgrade from uh, 6.1.3 to 5.1.1 then click on open and click on yes and you have to go into your DFU mode for going to your DFU mode you have to switch off your device as I'll be showing you right now connect your device just click on next and follow the instructions tap and hold the home button and the power button together for 10 seconds just leave the power button and keep on holding the home button till the process gets started and as you can see the process gets started and you just leave your iPhone there as you can see the image has be, is been loaded and uh, just wait for it wait for the phone to get rebooted as you can see the Apple logo just uh, appears as you can see the circular mark also appears as you can see it's telling us waiting for NAND and uh, you have to have patience for this guys you, you just uh, have to wait for uh, half an hour or even 20 minutes so that the whole process gets done without ease uh, with ease sorry it's telling it checking file systems and as you can see the firmware is being uh, already started to get downgraded
can see uh, it's telling the device has been successfully restored uh, to 5.1.1 and uh, just give it a second for your phone to uh, reboot itself and to uh, give you more information I have to unlock this phone on 5.1.1 so i'll be also showing you uh, how to unlock it also as uh, for you for some guys uh, 6.1.3 it's not uh, supporting the unlock i think so and uh, also uh, it's uh, i think it's semi and third so that uh, you guys might find problems uh, for the unlock so you can just downgrade to 5.1.1 and you can unlock your device with ease so i'm just showing you right now as you can see uh, as you now after the restore has been uh, downgrade has been done you have to go into your home setting settings and also i'll be showing us how to unlock it on 5.1.1 also if you have upgraded to 6.1.3 and you can't unlock it so you have to go into your extra settings and click on select ipsw and click on 5.1.1 the firmware that you have downgraded click on ok and here is the main thing if you have a old boot rom click on no and if you have a newer boot rom just uh, click on yes okay now just go and uh, select jailbreak as uh, it's telling us patching kernels and all and here the main thing if you like to only jailbreak your device click on install CDR and if you want to unlock and jailbreak your device then click on install iPad baseband and then uh, click on install studio also now it will be telling that to go into uh, the, the TFU mode then uh, just switch off your device to go into the TFU mode as you can see your device has been switched off to click on next and keep holding the home button and the power button uh, according to the instructions that are given on the screen then release the power button and keep on holding the home button till the instruction as you can see it's telling that exploiting with limbra uh, one end and uploading the first stage and all the stuff waiting for reboot as you can see the jailbreak process has been started and uh, the other thing is that uh, after you have to wait for sometimes for for instance like it might take uh, one sec uh, <clears throat> 15 to 10 minutes also 10 to 15 minutes for me it's it will take around 10 minutes so you don't panic if the process doesn't go you just wait give it time uh, have your patience uh, and your device will be jailbreaked and unlocked within no time and you can access your iPhone with this I'll be also uh, posting a video as how to downgrade to 6.1.2 as soon as I get the method as how to do it and what's the procedure what's the actual procedure to do it so that uh, it might uh, uh, be helpful for you guys so I'll be getting back to you when this uh, the whole process is almost done so as you can see guys it's telling as flashing baseband so don't wait don't panic give it a time and for me it took around uh, 5 minutes or more I saw I think so so just uh, let the phone do it do its work don't interrupt anything don't remove the cord or don't touch your phone also I'm just picking up and showing guys for so that don't panic it might take some time for instance uh, when I first jailbroke my device uh, downgraded my device and unlocked it it took almost 15 to 20 minutes for me so don't worry give it a time as you can see after the flashing has been done uh, the phone will uh, reboot itself and you can access your home screen and also unlock your device just give it some time and let the phone connect to the PC
so as you can see the phone is just unlocked now you can remove the card it's uh, right uh, it's uh, safe to remove the card now you have to just set up your device I don't know why it takes this much time to set the language. Okay, now select your country. Click on OK. And click on Wi Fi. Just set a new code. Skip the step. Click on Agree. Send. As you can see, uh, Syria has been installed onto your device. Now what you do is you can just uh, use your Syria if you have a factory uh, unlocked iPhone 3GS, and if you have uh, if you have software unlock or you have a, if you are connected with any carrier, you can just go into Syria and launch it and just uh, select the options that are more appear appropriate for you. Let the Syria load for for the first time. It might take. Uh, to three minutes let it load let it let it do its work all right so after your Syria has been loaded go into your sources and uh, click on this repo that will be available pre-install onto your iPhone then uh, click on this ultra snow and install it just uh, uh, I'm using a personal hotspot on my phone as I don't know what happened to my net it's not coming so just click on confirm and uh, as you can see it will be getting downloaded and uh, you will be observing uh, here as I'll be showing right now the no service uh, the no service bar will be changed uh, to, uh, to the carrier that you want to put it on to your iDevice so as you can see uh, it's telling us searching and it will be telling you to restart, restart the springboard and after your springboard has been restarted your network will be appearing so this is the way to downgrade your iPhone uh, 3GS 4 even iPod touch 4G uh, to from 6.1.3 to 5.1.1 and also jailbreak it and the third jailbreak and also even unlocking it as you'll be seeing right now and uh, you'll be seeing the carrier logo is appearing and you'll be seeing the carrier also you go into just uh, going to your general and going to about so give it uh, give it some time As you can see, guys, your carrier has been unlocked to your any uh, any phone that you want to lock it. Uh, sorry, any phone any phone that you want to use it. So, hope you guys like my video, find my video helpful. Please do comment, subscribe, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, please do ask me in the comment section below. Uh, till then, do subscribe me for iOS 7 walkthrough that I'll be doing on June 10th after the. Uh, after they have released the beta version so till then i'll be seeing you in my next video